Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at doing some things with a digital elevation model. Now a digital elevation model is is a product that actually sometimes referred to as a digital terrain model. It's oftentimes usually produced from some sort of contour line map. Okay? In the case of this one, a USGS DEM, it was produced by scanning the original contour plate from that physical topographic map and creating a grid from that and each cell in the grid actually corresponds to a value. So if we actually zoom in here and look at these at these little cells, each one of these cells, I'm going to take the measure tool and I'm going to measure across one of these. This is a 10 meter DEM. Now I'm measuring just over 9 meters. That's because I've got the data projected and it's slightly less than 10 meters after I project the data. But it's a 10 meter by 10 meter DEM. So that's the spatial resolution of these things. So each one of these cells gets a value. In this case, the actual value of that, let's hit the identify button here, is 386 meters above sea level. Meters rather than feet. Other DEMs might be in feet. It's important to know what vertical unit you're using. Very important to know that. Okay, so if I go back to bookmarks, I'm going to go to the full extent. This is a seven and a half minute by lo uh, longitude by seven and a half minutes of latitude chunk of the Earth's surface corresponding to a topographic map at 1 to 24,000 scale. But that's my original DEM. And I can see in my legend over here on the left side that I've got a low of 302 meters, which is over here in the Missouri River floodplain. There's 307, there's 307 again. A lot of these are 307. So that's the floodplain. It's pretty flat there. All the way up to higher elevations in the wonderful Lewis Hills, 409. And we can see from the legend here that the actual highest elevation is 419. Now looking at the hillshade, the hillshade has also a series of cells, right? And each one of these cells, just like the original DEM that it came from, is the same resolution spatially. See, it's just over 9 meters across in each one of these. But the shaded relief gets a low and a high as well, the low and the high corresponding to gray tones. Okay, So you've got 0 to 255 typically in a hill shade with, with 255 being bright. In this case, I'm going to zoom to layer, my brightest colors are the ones that are actually uh, the slopes um, are in direct sunlight. And then the shadows, with giving the low value, are away from the sun. They're in these sort of incised valleys here in the Lewis Hills. So that's what we are dealing with with a digital elevation model and a resulting hill shade. Both of these are stored as raster files and they're both able to be manipulated and dealt with as we'll see in other videos. Thanks!